over the last 12 months, I took this Next 5R with these two lenses and I tested its capacity to shoot video above and below water. In 2014, mirrorless breaks barriers. Never has there been a unit that's so affordable that's got so much creative functionality. It's the 16.1 megapixel sensor in this one that's the key behind its stunning image quality. The two lenses that I've been using is this 18 to 55 mil lens, which gives me nice versatility underwater, shooting anything from real small nudie branks to larger fish and then a 16mm lens with a fisheye converter onto it and this one gives me really nice wide angle shots. The camera is really easy to set custom buttons which is really important for use underwater. I consider white balance one of the most important things to be able to easily change underwater, especially when you're shooting with natural light. And initially I came up with a few hurdles when it came to setting this white balance. So I would set it and continuously get this white balance error, but I found a fix for it. Basically, you just hit OK and it has changed the white balance and it's changed it pretty well too. So set the white balance, okay, and shoot away. And the results have been very good. It's taken me a little bit of time to work out, but the autofocus works quite well. And when you extend the lens right out and focus on something nice and close using the shutter button and keeping the autofocus setting on multi, you can slowly move away and it will pull the focus. So it's something that you can really get creative with and you don't necessarily have to be a manual focusing pro. So the compact size of this one means you can take it anywhere. And the great thing is you don't need a gigantic underwater housing too. But this is the Nauticam NEX5R underwater housing. So the camera then just slides in to some little grooves, positioning the camera securely directly in the right spot. So the port that I'm using for this particular lens, which is a fisheye lens, is a dome port. And using Nauticam's unique locking system, this one just sits over the top of the housing, placed down gently, and twisting the locking device on the left means that you can be confident that that port is locked in. So ergonomically, this housing is very comfortable to use and the small size gives you the freedom to move around, pan smoothly, and also just get nice and close to your subjects. You can access all of the controls with your right thumb. I can easily change the aperture by rolling the top dial. It's nice and smooth. And with the dial on the bottom, change the shutter speed too. Once again, that having those shortcut buttons right there where your thumb is means I can quickly set that white balance. I can also move up the ISO with just two flicks of a button. As for my 18 to 55 mil lens, uh, Nauticam provide a zoom gear which attaches to the lens. So I'm going to take off the dome port and show you the flat port. Attaches the same way. It can focus on small nudie branks, things that are larger than approximately one centimeter or so with this lens on. I've hit a lot of these buttons thousands of times over the last year 
and I've never had a single issue. This whole setup, including the different ports, fits easily into your hand luggage. It's simple to put together. You've got the confidence that it's not going to leak. And between two lenses, you've really got the versatility of getting those nice close-up shots or the big impressive wide angle ones. With the Sony Nex5 and Nauticam underwater housing, keen amateurs can get professional level underwater footage while still keeping their diving fun.